went to Columbia since pre-K. And my teachers in pre-K were Mrs. Johnson and Mrs. Woods. What I loved about Mrs. Johnson is because she was really, really nice. And what I loved about Mrs. Woods is that we were, rela we were related. So in kindergarten, I had Mrs. Oss, and she let us go to her house for a end of the year party, and it was awesome. And um, she had a, what I loved is she had a treehouse in her classroom, and after af after that year, I was pretty sad. From first and second grade, they're pretty similar years. We had the same teacher, which was Miss Poole. And they're similar years because all the field trips were the same and first and second grade always did their activities together. From the field trips, some of the, the best ones were the zoo field trips and the pumpkin patch field trips where the whole pumpkin patch field trip would be kind of a week long activity. We'd go one day, then we'd clean the pumpkins and we'd carve them the next day and then we'd do a contest of whose pumpkin had the most seeds in it. And then some of the other field trips were the beach field trips where we would go to the beach. In second grade, we went up into one of the lighthouses and we got to have a tour there. And then we also would cook hot dogs on the sand. And first and second grade were fun years because we had the same teacher and it was really fun with everyone. I remember the chocolate waffle sundays that Miss Heather used to make, the Pidock Mansion field trip, and the Miss Hout reading the Narnia series. Fourth grade. 2015 to 2016 our teacher that year was Mrs. Trover. Our new students that year were Raylan, Jason, Kim, Mike, and Noah. Memories of that year, we studied the history of Oregon and Native Americans. We had a potluck, showing off what we had learned and our Native American projects. On the way to a field trip to some tide pools at the beach, one of the buses broke down. At first it looked like someone had spilled Mountain Dew, but then it started to steam rapidly. It was the bus coolant. The second bus took the younger students back to school, while the older ones, us and fifth grade, waited at a nearby truck stop. We spent what seemed like hours playing games and reading, and eating our lunches. The subway that was attached to the truck stop gave us all cookies. We went to Oregon's Capitol Building in Salem. We went to McLaughlin House in Oregon City. We went to Fort Vancouver, fifth grade, 2016 to 2017. Our teacher that year was Mrs. Fletcher. That year's new students were, Kenzie, Angelina, and Leo. That year's memories. We went on a whale watching trip. We studied colonial life. We study states and capitals. We had a state project. In sixth grade, we had Miss Fletcher as a teacher. Um, this was the first year they were able to introduce STEAM as an elective. Uh, that was really cool. We were able to um, build mousetrap cars. Uh, that was super fun. Um, and in seventh grade, we had Miss Bishop as our teacher. And it was the first year we were really able to go off campus for lunch in the fourth, it was in fourth quarter, but it was still really fun. And uh, yeah, it was really cool. The eighth grade class of 2020. Our teachers this year were Mrs. Bishop for history and study skills, Mrs. Williamson for English and Bible, and, and Mrs. Hall for math and science, as well as Mr. Yaws for PE. The things we did this year for field trips were going to the Exquisite Creatures exhibit at OMSI, as well as planting trees at Kelly Point Park. The kids in the 8th grade class are Seth Alvarado, Owen Barrett, David Burns, Mikey Dempster Johnson, Raylan Hartman, Jasmine Hodgkin, Brady Housley, Leo Huang, Kenzie Lawrence, Kim Lopez, Ariana Muffinbeyer, Jason Cease, Skylar Stewart, Angelina Trong, Noah Venable, and myself, Hayden Reed.
Housley, and this is me and my princess uh, speech. I have heard that high school can be hard, but as a class as, and as friends, I know we can get through high school together. I've been going, going to Columbia for nine years now, and when I first came here, I didn't know very many people, but the next day I had bu a bunch of friends because it is not that hard to get to know people at Columbia. So high school will be tough, but our class is strong enough to get through it. We've been together for a while now with no new students. We'll always have each other's backs. They say high school is when friendships get a little rocky, uh, but I know that the friendships that we have made this past year and the years before uh, will help us get through high school together as a family. I know we are afraid of high school and what challenges it will bring, but I know we can get through high school as a class.